Well, why don't we start? Good morning, Karen. <laughs> no, I'm not the governor. <laughs> Welcome to the live streaming of morning prayer at Good Shepherd Episcopal Church, Chiquesta, Florida, on this Thursday, the 5th of November, 2020. My name is Pam DeFelice, and I'm a member of the Good Shepherd Daily Office Team, the ministry that brings you morning and evening prayer. To download the service leaflet for this morning service, go to goodshepvirtual.org, click on prayer and study, and look for today's date. This service will also be available beginning at 10 a.m. on Good Shepherd's YouTube channel. So if you have friends who would like to experience morning prayer at Good Shepherd, just have them go to youtube.com and search <clears throat> on Good Shepherd to Cuesta. Good morning, Jessica. Thus says the high and lofty one who inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with the one who has a contrite and humble spirit to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Let us say the jubilate in unison. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Come, let us adore him. Today's Psalm is 71, and we will say that together. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Never let me be ashamed. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. 
Incline your ear to me and save me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. You are my crag and my stronghold. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence since I was young. I have been sustained by you ever since I was born. From my mother's womb, you have been my strength. My praise shall always be of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all day long. Do not cast me off in my old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. I'm sorry. I, for my enemies are talking against me and those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say God has forsaken him. Go after him and seize him because there is none who will save. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who set themselves against me be put to shame and be disgraced. Let those who seek to do evil to me be covered with scorn and reproach. But I shall always wait in patience and I shall praise you more and more. My mouth shall recount your mighty acts and saving deeds all day long, though I cannot know the number of them. I will begin with the mighty words of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O oh God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. And now that I am old, and gray-headed, O oh God, do not forsake me, till I make known your strength to this generation and your power to all who are to come. Your righteousness, O oh God, reaches to the heavens, and you have done great things. Who is like you, O oh God? You have showed me great troubles and adversities, but you will restore my life and bring me up again from the deep places of the earth. You strengthen me more and more. You enfold and comfort me. Therefore, I will praise you upon the lyre of your faithfulness, O oh my God. I will sing to you with the harp, O oh Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing with joy when I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue will proclaim your righteousness all day long, for they are ashamed and disgraced who sought to do me harm. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson is the end of Sirach. Let us now sing the praises of famous men, our ancestors in their generations. The Lord apportioned to them great glory, his majesty from the beginning. There were those who ruled in their kingdoms and made a name for themselves by their valor those who gave counsel because they were intelligent, those who spoke in prophetic oracles, those who led the people by their counsels and by their knowledge of the people's lore. They were wise in their words of instruction, those who composed musical tunes or put verses in writing, rich men endowed with resources living peacefully in their homes. All these were honored in their generations and were the pride of their times. Some of them 
have left behind the name so that others declare their praise. But of others, there is no memory. They have perished as though they had never existed. They have become as though they had never been born. They and their children after them. But these also were godly men whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten. Their wealth will remain with their descendants and their inheritance with their children's children. Their descendants stand by the covenants, their children also for their sake. Their offspring will continue forever and their glory will never be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their names live on generation after generation. The assembly declares their wisdom and the congregation proclaims their praise. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together the song of Moses. I will sing to the Lord, for he is lofty and uplifted. The horse and its rider has he hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my refuge. The Lord has become my savior. This is my God, and I will praise him. The God of my people, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a mighty warrior. Yahweh is his name. The chariots of Pharaoh and his army has he hurled into the sea. The finest of those who bear armor have been drowned in the Red Sea. The fathomless deep has overwhelmed them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in might. Your right hand, O Lord, has overthrown the enemy. Who can be compared with you, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in renown, and worker of wonders? You stretched forth your right hand. The earth swallowed them up. With your constant love, you led the people you redeemed. With your might, you brought them in safety to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them on the mount of your possession, the resting place you have made for yourself, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, that your hand has established. The Lord shall reign forever and forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The second lesson is from the gospel according to Luke. Jesus said, therefore, what is the kingdom of God like? And to what should I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in the garden. It grew and became a tree and the birds of the air made nests in its branches. And again, he said, to what should I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Jesus went through one town and village after another, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, will only a few be saved? He said to them, strive to enter through the narrow door. For many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able. When once the owner of the house has got up, and shut the door and you began to stand you begin to stand outside and to knock at the door 
saying, Lord, open to us. Then in reply, he will say to you, I do not know where you come from. Then you will begin to say, we ate and drank with you and you taught in our streets. But he will say, I do not know where you come from. Go away from me, all you evil doers. They will be weeping and gnashing of teeth when you see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of God and you are yourself thrown out. Then people will come from east and west, from north and south, and will eat in the kingdom of God. Indeed, some are, la are last who will be first, and some are first who will be last. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us say together, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, the only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Suffrages be. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. The Collect of the Day, Proper 26. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift 
that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for the Renewal of Life. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into the morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness during the day, we may, when the night comes, rejoice to give you thanks through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union where there is doubt, faith, where there is despair, hope, where there is darkness, light, where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ, and particularly those throughout the Anglican Communion, remembering today especially the Diocese of Roya, Tanzania, the Right Reverend John Edema Bishop, the Diocese of Dhaka, ben Bangladesh, the Most Reverend Paul Shashir Sakhar, Primate, and the Diocese of Derry and Raffo, Ireland, the Right Reverend Kenneth Raymond Good, Bishop. We pray also for our Diocese of Southeast Florida and our Bishop, the Right Reverend Peter Eaton, and our Companion Diocese, remembering today, especially the Diocese of Toliar, Madagascar, the Right Reverend Todd McGregor, Bishop. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold, pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. We pray also for our own parish family and those dear to them, remembering today, especially Becky and family, Patricia, Priscilla, Michael, Steve, Patrick, Deanna, Joey, Julia, Bob, John, Darcy, Ashley, Roland and Joss, Josh, Mindy, Gary, Eric, Marilyn, Bernie, Jan, Steve, Peter, Chris, Alyssa, Jim and Jerry, Debbie, and Karen. Almighty and ever-living God, 
ruler of all things in heaven and earth. Hear are our prayers for this parish family. Strengthen the faithful, arouse the careless, and restore the penitent. Grant us all things necessary for our common life and bring us all to be of one heart and mind within your holy church. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. At this time, we invite your prayers of petition, intercession, and thanksgiving, either shared with all or held in the silence of your hearts. Oh yes, Ian, we pray for our country during this time of uncertainty when we are awaiting the counting, counting of all ballots Give us patience and grace to accept the results of the election, whichever way it works out. Amen to that, Ian. And we pray, yes, we pray for Nancy. We pray for her strength. And we pray for Ian's confirmands. We know they will do well and learn a great deal under him. And we pray for the soul of Frank Harris. Today is his service. And we pray for Mary, for her strength. Let us say the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you and you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Thank you all for joining me for morning prayer this morning. I hope it was good. I hope you all have a blessed day. Amen.